Hey everybody! Michelle here at the Post Paint Shop. It's a cold and miserable looking day today, but we're going to have some fun with face paints. So hopefully you can join in at home and um, have some fun with what we're doing. So it's going to be, oops, it's going to be a um, nice and quick workshop today. We're going to play with some stencils. So stencils is something that I get a lot of people asking about um, as to how to use them, how to get the best, um, uh, the, the best, uh, I guess, design out of them, um, how to incorporate them into your designs. Um, I also have a, a lot of people asking how to make them not bleed, um, because of course stencils are really, really um, quick to bleed, which we don't love. So, today we'll have some fun with stencils and we'll turn that around. And I'll teach you some secrets. So the stencils that we're using today, I'm going to be using the Quick E stencils. Um, there's so many different types. Quick E's are really cool because they make them in like a nice um, A5 uh, design. And they have lots of different types. These particular ones are just some of um, our favourites, but there's so many different types um, that are very, very popular. I'll actually just grab a few more to show you as well. And I'll show you some of my favourites. Now there's lots and lots of different brands that make stencils for face painting. That one's one of my favourites too. It's like a, a, a uh, I use it for robots, but like a circuit type effect. This one is very popular. It's a, a heart crown. Um, there's lots of different brands that make stencils. You kind of, um, it's not important to, but you'll get a lot more out of your stencils if you use proper face paint stencils. So that is stencils that have been designed for face painting. Um, and the reason being is because they are designed for the face. You know, they're um, usually face paint stencils are um, that little bit of a better consistency, like it's in their, their thickness or thinness, so a bit, um, just they might be thinner, they might be thicker, but they just, you know, work that little bit better. They're also usually smaller um, than like a, a craft stencil. Craft stencils tend to be, you know, quite large and usually just way too big for the face. Not to say that there isn't some craft stencils that are great and work really well, but you'll find that face paint stencils, even though they can absolutely be that little bit more expensive, you'll get that bit more out of them because that's what they're designed for. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use a quick ease stencils today. This is an American brand called Show Ops. Show Ops make uh, three different types of stencils. They make a full face stencil, which is, um, uh, they call them stencil eyes, and it's like a, a stencil that made up of three components. It literally does the entire face. They make a profile stencil, which is just like a half face one. And they make these, and these are my favourites. They're called Quick Ease or Quick Ease Ed. And I like that they have lots of different types of stencils. So they have ones that I would call more of like a pattern stencil, like this sort of effect. So this one here is like a, a reptilian um, scales sort of thing. And then over here we have the more, there's like robot circuit board machinery, which I think is really cool too. More of a pattern effect, which I'm going to show you how to use. Or they might have like actual, not so much pictures, like I wouldn't say that they're, you know, like a picture of an animal or something like that, but they're more actual shapes. So, you know, hearts, stars, that sort of thing. Now, there sometimes there's talk of stencils being cheating when you're face painting. I disagree. I think it's um, what stencils do is that they bring in what... Um, they they enhance and add to your face painting and definitely if you're talking about things like stars and hearts things that are very difficult to get perfect um, which is what I love about the quick ease stencils because there are lots and lots of stars and hearts and and things that if you wanted to try and make that absolutely perfect you're going to be there all day okie doke I'll put these up here for now. 
So the first secret of stencils that I want to show you is actually the type of sponge to use. And this is um, a, not so much a secret, but wow, it adds a lot um, to your stenciling. A lot of people find that when they're stenciling, um, it bleeds. And with the color, actually, I'll use a green so it's a little more clear. So just some water on my, this is a face paint sponge. Um, it's a diamond effects one. And it's a really, really good face paint sponge. Loading up my colors like so. This is a pearl green um, from Global Colors. Okay, so if I was uh, working with this stencil and I've loaded up my color with a face paint sponge, and then sponge that over the top. And got that nice straight color coming through. Doesn't look amazing, okay? So it's bled a little bit around the edges. Um, it's not as smooth as it could have been. And look at, you know, it's all right, but we can do better. I'll line that back up so that it's clear. Okay, so the secret to stencils is less is more. And it's about the type of sponge that you use. We're going to use makeup sponges. So this is a particular type of sponge that we sell here at the Face Paint Shop. This one is a powder puff sponge. These particular ones are great because there's a nice smooth edge. And then you've got a point as well for like, you know, kind of really detailed parts. We also have these awesome um, little smaller ones. They're made of the same consistency, but they're nice and small and they help you to get to little tiny bits and places when you're stenciling. So same deal, I'll wet my sponge. And because these are designed as makeup sponges, they don't pick up anywhere near as much paint and they actually don't um, let go of as much paint when you're painting with them. And what that means is that it's much more um, unlikely to bleed and you'll get a much smoother, nicer um, stencil. Okay, so here's the exact same stencil, the exact same way, but with my makeup sponge, my nice smoothie blender, compared to just a straight face paint sponge. And look at that, perfection. So much better. So that was there and that was there. And I'll bring this, the, uh, the camera a bit closer so that we can see the difference. Okay, so look at that. A face paint sponge compared to a makeup sponge. Huge, huge difference in terms of how um, precise and smooth you get that stencil to come out with. Cool. Okay, awesome. So now that we know what materials to use. We're gonna have some fun with putting that stencil into a design. Okay, so I'm gonna paint over here like a, a monstery effect. Um, yeah, monster, crocodile, something that's gonna use these scales just to kind of give you an idea and show you um, a really great way of being able to use them. Okay, so. The first thing I'm going to do, and because we're using like kind of a stencil -y, um, we're using this really cool uh, scales effect. So I'm going to give my brush, give my, okay, we're going to give it some, um, some green coming down. This is that really awesome metallic green that I was using before. Cool, okay, then I'm gonna switch my sponge around. Some water again. And this is a neon yellow, it's actually called Marina. It's from the Chameleon range. And it's an awesome bright, bright yellow. And I'm going right over the top of my green and blending that in, just by dabbing, is how you blend. And you see I'm getting like a nice highlight there 
of my yellow on top. We'll add a little bit extra. Cool. Okay, now we'll add a little bit more of my yellow will highlight coming down the cheekbones. And I'm just blending over that kind of green line that we've got happening up the top there. Cool, because we're working on um, a practice board and not a face, I'm just going to give it a nice smooth outline just with a baby wipe I'm just smoothing away cool okay awesome so this was just a very very simple design it's just um, some yellows and greens blending together just to give a little bit of a, an effect um, you can use that as a, a, a monster or, or a crocodile or lizard or you know whatever you like Okay, now we come in with the magic and we'll just make sure that that's dry because that's really important when you're stenciling. If I bring this over now when it's still probably that tucked wet, there it is. I'm not going to get the effect that I want because it's, it's still wet and uh, the stencil underneath can um, kind of move the paint around which we don't want. The other really cool thing about stenciling is that you can absolutely use that with a split cake. So just while that's drying, we'll just let that go. And I'll just show you how it works with a split cake. Okay, so I've loaded up my sponge. I've got those three colours happening um, on my, with my split cake. And we're just going to give the same effect. So just nice and gentle dabbing coming across. And have a look at that, and you get this kind of multi tone happening, which is really awesome. Okay, hopefully that's dry enough. So we'll give some stenciling coming up there. So, what I'm using is I'm purposely using colors um, from the same tone. And the reason being is because you'll find that it will just add that really amazing effect. Because you can't actually, so this, uh, it just looks like that bit more realistic. Okay, now I'm going to bring it down here and I'll use my darker green because remember we've got a little bit of that yellow at the top there so a darker colour will blend really well. And I'm making sure to dab and I'm keeping my stencil very very still. The moment that you let your stencil move is where you're going to get um, blending stuff, sorry, when you're going to get bleeding happening as well, which we don't want. So from there, I reckon I'll grab another stencil. This one is the teeth, yeah, about there. And I'll grab another colour. What colour? I almost need like a. And we'll grab black. Loading up my Dominic X black here. This is an awesome, awesome black. And I'm um, being nice and gentle. I'm kind of building it up. So rather than having lots and lots of paint and chubby it all at once, 
I'm building it up into being nice and even so that I do get that really smooth, perfect stenciling happening. Cool, looking good. Okay, and then just to kind of finish it off, I'll grab my brush. And what do we think? So I'll bring you forward to have a look at that, that stenciling effect. And you see how easy that was and uh, how quickly it was to do. So there we go, that's how we use stencils. So that was using a texture stencil. And we used that teeth one at the bottom as well, which was really, really cool. Um, but the, uh, the texture stencils, are really, really great in terms of just adding that bit extra. You know, I would have been there forever trying to add that um, reptilian scales in, but because I used a stencil, it's certainly not instead of my artwork, it's just that little bit extra, and it's something extra that you can add um, into your face painting. Okay, the other really cool thing that we have um, with some stencils is that we do have lots of kind of, you know, other sort of prettier designs. So I'll wipe this monster clean and we'll just do a quick, um, like kind of a rainbow kind of fairy effect, also using a stencil. Okay, so we'll get rid of our greens, we'll put them up there, so it's out the way. Okay, so what I'm going to use is this one here. So this is a beautiful one. It's one of our absolute favourites. It's very, very popular. Okay, so that's going to go across like there. So I know that I'm going to put that there. I'm just trying to line it up. Um, with the eyebrows so that it's nice and straight. Beautiful. Okay, we'll use this beautiful blue for that one. It's the teal. Loading up my sponge. Once again, I'm only using these smoothie um, makeup sponges because they just work so much better. I'm going to be a little bit more creative with this one. So I have teal on... Uh, these are two dots on the outside. But because I am using a really smooth, delicate, small um, little sponge like this, it means that I can grab another colour. In fact, we'll be a bit special and we'll grab a rainbow for that heart in the centre. Okay, and we'll put that up. Ah, look at that, beautiful. Then I'll finish off my design. I'll just get rid of some of that green that's still there from the previous um, face paint. It's still on my hands, which is why it's coming through. <laughs> Okay, dipping my flat brush in some water, loading up that rainbow four from tag. And I'm just going to add a little bit of prettiness around the outside. So we'll do some.
Here we go, nice and simple, nothing complicated, but shows awesome things that we can do with stencils, which is adding on to your design, not taking it away. There we go. What do we think? Do we like that? That particular stencil is this one here. It's called a heart topper. And that shows you all sorts of awesome things that you can do with stencils when you're face painting. Nice and quick one today. Hope you enjoyed that. Please have fun. Jump onto thefacepaintshop.com and you can grab all of these stencils and all of the paints that I used in this workshop. Bye everyone.